Hey guys, happy almost Friday. <laughs> I'm so relieved that it's almost the weekend. I wanted to pop on because I want to get your opinions on something. So I thought, okay, this is a good time to do that. Um, since I've been posting some little uh, clips of AI uh, of Juni, and I want to get your thoughts on that. So I've had like a, a lot of like personal thoughts or opinions on what I think of using AI to bring our dolls to life. And I've seen some in the past, like we, I don't know, a couple of years ago, they were going around and I tried them um, and thought they were cute, but they weren't like, they were, they added a little bit of realism, but they weren't like great footage. Like the, the actual uh, quality of them was like, meh, but it was fun, right? So now we've got more AI tools, which even for my work life, um, they've approved us to utilize certain AI tools um, to help aid in different things. Um, but there's so many thoughts and feelings surrounding AI in general, I've noticed. I've always been super leery of it, and I was kind of on the fence whether I really liked it or thought it was a good thing or uh, don't know what to think of it. And then I saw um, more and more people sharing pictures of their dolls animated and the most recent that I, that I have discovered, thanks to my friend Lee, um, that everybody's been using, at least the people I follow over on Instagram are using, um, was like, wow, like the quality is really good, um, if it gets it right, but when it gets it right, like the quality, like makes the doll seem truly alive like you would you would think that it is truly a living baby not a doll so my my question to all of you out there i want to pose like what what are your thoughts on using ai at least for for fun not when you're selling a doll or not to like um as an artist not to share ai pictures and video of a doll you're selling but just for us collectors as fun for like role play-ish type of videos. Um, just things like that, posting like little like reels, um, doing video shorts on YouTube, cause that's kind of what I've been doing. What are your thoughts on it? Do you, do you feel like it makes you feel uncomfortable? Like, does it feel like give you an uneasy feeling or are you like all about it, you embracing it and think it's really, really cool, want to use it and, or have started using it because I'll tell you what, the first time I saw the more current realistic ones, I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. But now I've changed my way of thinking. And the reason because is because I, one, the ones I've done for June, they are so lifelike and so cute. It's literally in my in my imagination. It's how I would picture her if she were like this living little baby. Um, so to me, it like really brings her to life, and I love it. It's changed my whole thought on it because I was so against using AI at first. But then again, I'm kind of one of these that I like what I know, and if something pops up and it's not something I'm used to, it's out of the norm. I usually just don't want to mess with it right away. <laughs> but I have been learning more and more about like the uses of AI, how to prompt it properly, things like that through my work. So I'm less afraid of it, I suppose, even though I still am afraid of it in many ways. But applying it to our hobby has been really, really fun. And I have a good handful, like I, I did like a, a one week subscription on, I believe that the name of it is Klein AI. Um, and you have to pay for the subscription. They give you like one free and then you have to pay weekly or you can do it monthly, but it's expensive. So I'm like, all right, I'll pay weekly because I want to try it out on a certain number of dolls and I want to try different prompts and see what I can come up with and see if they're actually good and usable. I'm glad I spent the one week, which is $9.99, but I've already canceled my subscription because it's glitchy. I'll tell you one, it's glitchy. It doesn't always get it right and certain positions, certain backgrounds, certain angles of the doll doesn't get it right and it's not realistic at all. However, apparently the way that I photographed Junie is super spot on for, you can prompt it to look, the baby's wiggling, moving, 
baby's smiling, baby's crying, like expressions, but also the movements of the baby in like whatever surface the baby is sitting on. Like I have one of the pictures is on my bed and you can see the dimpling of the bed and the movement and it's just like amazing. And then the ones I did of Monroe <laughs> and Addie were awful. They were not realistic at all. They didn't do a good job. So I'm, I've given up trying and I've tried multiple different angles of them. And I don't know whether it's their facial expressions. I think it might be, but it's also one of them was like, it was blurry for like the whole thing was blurry for like a nanosecond. So it made it look very bizarre. Um, so I'm going to stick with using it. The rest of the ones that I have for my week subscription for June and kind of you can download those and keep those and you can also screenshot. So that's also what I think is really sweet is that you capture these moments of different um, expressions that Junie would have if she were a living baby. And it's like, oh, <laughs> it's like, it melts my heart because it's literally how I envision her to be if she were a living little, you know, nine month old, 10 month old baby. It's fantastic. Like it really is, it's been a lot of fun. Now that I've kind of let go of my fear of using it or feeling like it wouldn't be right to use it. I don't know. I just had weird feelings around AI, but I'm curious to, to know what you guys out there think, or if you're already using it, let me know. Um, if you haven't used it and you're um, wanting to give it a try, I will link the name of the app in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. But again, gives you one for free, then you have to pay. Um, but it is glitchy. So yesterday, I think um, it was like overwhelmed with the number of requests. So it took it took a couple hours for one of them to render yesterday because I think the whole reborn community, because uh, my friend Lee and I were sharing them on Instagram and just having a lot of fun. And then everybody's like, "What is this app? Where did you go? How did you do that?" And then suddenly it like took forever to render any picture. <laughs> and it does take a few minutes, but I've noticed today it's it's lightened up and it's much quicker. But yesterday it was taking forever and it just wouldn't, it would say failure to upload. So it wouldn't like actually upload the picture and start the process. So it was a whole thing, but I think it was, the system was overwhelmed and I don't know how old the app is. You know, I don't know if they're still working out the kinks. I would guess they probably are, but with AI, you know, you have to put in your prompts of what you want the picture to render to video and um, some are successful. Some are just not epic failures, you know, I won't lie. I think there might be one that I would think is somewhat cute of Monroe, but it's kind of like, it's not the greatest. Um, but Junie, hmm, she's apparently the best one for me to use on this. So I will continue to use up the rest of my allotment of, of uh, renderings on June and then kind of bank them and put them out gradually as I want to use them. But yeah, let me know your thoughts though, because it's an interesting conversation. Cause I've noticed that like some of the people, some of the people that I follow over on Instagram were kind of like, I am so sick of seeing all this AI. <laughs> I totally get it. Cause at first, the very first time I saw it, I got sick of seeing it as well because everybody suddenly started populating all this AI instead of like just pictures. And I totally get where it gets kind of like, all right, enough is enough. Um, but it is so easy to get sucked into it. You guys, it is so easy to just, I don't know, lose yourself in creating cuteness. Cause once it creates one good one, you're just like, oh, I gotta have more. And then you wanna see a different expression, a different rendering of what the baby would look like. But it, it, when it gets it right, it's just such a sweet thing. And it's so spot on that it's like, I don't know how you could lose yourself for hours doing this stuff. <laughs> But ultimately, I'm only going to dabble in it for the week and then I'll move on with that. But let me know your thoughts on AI. Let me know your thoughts on using AI. Again, if you're using it, if you want to use it um, and, you know, do you fear that it has an impact on our doll collecting community? Like I, I think some people have this fear like it will impact, um, I don't know, the likeness of, of the doll or I don't know, I guess. Um, if an artist is selling a doll via using AI, that would, you know, I just would want to see regular pictures, of course, you know, that sort of thing. But for us as collectors with our current collection of dolls, showing kind of that fun side of it and making like video clips out of it and doing some slight video role playing 
with these AI renderings, I think it's really fun. It adds a unique side of things and it gives you kind of, it opens up like your imagination to what the baby might be like if they were a living child. And that's how it's making me feel with June. So I'm having a lot of fun with it currently, way more fun than I thought I would have, um, I won't lie. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely more open to using it, um, but definitely share your thoughts below. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> we find all sorts of fun in this hobby. It's great. But anyways, guys, I hope you're having a great end of week. Tomorrow's Friday, the weekend. But let me tell you, the change in the air is already happening. It's already getting cooler here and it feels like fall leaves are starting to fall it's kind of sad but it's expected but i think we're due to have some really hot weather for like the next week and then it's gonna go right into like fall more fall-ish weather um so i'm just gonna try to soak up the warmth while we have it i don't know how long we'll have it for <sighs> not long enough but anyways guys i hope you have a great rest of your work week and great start to your weekend and you will see me very very soon thanks for watching guys bye bye